Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Tasha. And in today's video, I'm gonna take you guys through a couple things. I am still in my PJs. I just took a shower, had my coffee, got everyone settled. And I was coming upstairs to get ready for the day. I decided to go ahead and start this video off before getting ready with a quick clothing haul. I recently was asked by a couple subscribers to start integrating more content into just my cleaning videos. They wanted more than just that. So I have been throwing in cooking, some day in the lives, and then now I'm gonna go ahead and throw in a clothing haul. A little background before I get into the clothing haul. When I first started YouTube, I was weighing in at about 155. I was the heaviest I've ever been. It was about a couple months after I had my daughter, so I was holding quite a bit of baby weight. It's been about a two and a half uh, year journey of losing that weight. I am now down to 115. And if you guys have been with me for a while, you'll notice that I've always kind of worn oversized clothes. I wasn't comfortable with buying myself a bunch of really cute, nice clothes throughout the process of the weight loss because I felt like it'd be kind of a waste. I did buy items here and there, t-shirts, jeans. As my waist got smaller, I'd buy jeans and leggings and things like that. But if you have been with me for a while, you notice that I have the same things in rotation all the time. So my husband went ahead and told me to go ahead and splurge a little bit, get some clothes I felt comfortable cleaning in, filming with, and possibly things to wear out in public. I did go a little crazy at first and was picking out such cute things. And then I got nervous because I'm the type of person that likes to try stuff on rather than just buying online. And since I was just buying online this time, I decided to just focus on things that I felt comfortable cleaning in and filming in and a few items that I thought would still look cute, um, even if it came a size too small or a size too big. So I'm gonna walk you guys through that and then I will be getting ready off camera and I'll take you guys to also clean my kitchen from top to bottom. We're gonna be doing spaghetti for dinner tonight and I know that you guys know how to make spaghetti and if you don't, maybe one day I'll show you how I make mine. It's super simple, but for today's video, I'm just gonna be showing a side dish that I serve with spaghetti and hopefully you guys enjoy that as well. Let's go ahead and jump into this clothing haul so we can move on to the cleaning as well. So I believe I have said this before in many videos, my in-laws typically buy all of Tennyson's clothes. And a lot of times my mother-in-law will send um, a lot of the matching sets. So like tops and bottoms that go together. So like she has tons of matching sets at all times, but sometimes she will throw in some bottoms that I just don't have tops to. For example, these are a couple pairs that she sent me here recently. They're just a set of leggings, just little patterns. And then I think these are Minnie Mouse ones. And I don't have tops to match them. So I went on to Target.com and found that the Cat and Jacks were having a nice little set up on their site, $5 a piece. I just picked up the plain ones, pink, and they're all long sleeves since we're going into the colder season, white, and then the plain black. I also found them in really cute sparkles. So I picked up pink, of course, maroon. I love my child in maroon. She looks so cute in it. And then I, of course, just a plain gray. I try to typically buy just plain colors when my mother-in-law sends stuff because she does buy a lot of things with bold patterns. So I typically just buy plain tops so that if I do get some bottoms in that I just don't have matching things to, I know that my plain tops can definitely match those um, heavy patterned leggings. Something else my mother-in-law sent recently was this adorable coat. I, I don't know what the brand is. Wonder Nation, so Walmart, I believe. And it is this Hunter Green. It's a three-part jacket, so you can unzip this. You can wear all three parts separately. It's like a raincoat pattern or fabric. And it's just really cute. But it's got the pink in it. I don't know if you can see it. And the Hunter Green. So when I was at the BX the other day, I was actually out hunting for some tennis shoes for Tennyson, and I stumbled across these snow boots. So I picked these up because I really thought that these would go so well together since the pink is on the inside, just like this color. And the gold, of course, always goes with this hunter green. So I picked these up to go with this jacket. So Tennyson is pretty much set for the winter. She has another box coming this week from my in-laws, and it'll probably be full of a lot of winter stuff as well. And then she's gonna have one for Christmas too. So. I never really have to worry about Tennyson in her clothes, so I don't purchase a lot for her. Um, typically just shoes and accessories that I want to go with the clothes that my in-laws send. So for mine, I went ahead, like I said, I went to walmart.com and I was just picking up stuff that I thought would be easy and comfortable to clean in as well as if I wanted to go out in public and dress slightly cuter but still leisurely. I'm the type of person that loves to wear things that make me feel comfortable. If a clothing item doesn't make me feel comfortable, then I'm most likely not gonna wear it more than once 
or really at all. So I pick up things that I know that'll, that'll be comfortable, versatile, that way I can wear it multiple types of ways with multiple types of things. I have tons of cardigans, tons of sweaters. So on that topic, I went ahead and picked up a three pack of these No Boundary Scoop Neck t-shirts. They're just plain. I can put them with just about anything. I ordered a size medium because I thought that a 7.9 would be my size. And I'm actually going to be a large in these because I don't like when things like suction to my skin. And these ones are like very, very tight. Like they are form fitting. So if you like form fitting, these are true to size, I guess, because I'm technically, I guess, a medium. So it says semi fitted. I think that's very fitted. I thought semi fitted would mean slightly loose, but still have some contour to it. So it's still accentuated my body, but no, they are very fitted. Um, but I do like them. I'm going to add them into stuff with like cardigans underneath hoodies with my sweaters things like that. I just picked up a white, a gray, and a black. They came in a three pack together. And like I said, I'll link everything down below if you're interested in any of it. I also found these two-tone quarter sleeves. They are very long. And I ordered these, I believe, in a size medium as well. And I should have ordered a small. They are, they fit big and they are very long. I was hoping it would be a little more form-fitted like the picture showed to give me like that nice shape that everyone wants but they are baggy so luckily my husband is um, a pro at shrinking my clothes so this time he gets to do it on purpose i have a few items i want him to try to shrink for me these quarter sleeves being one of them i also got it in a gray and white i just like this this style so that i can put it with leggings or even like throw a scarf on with it and a jacket to go out in public in um, just, I like simple and plain so that I can change it up by adding accessories or just keep it simple to clean in. That's how I feel. So those ones will get shrunk because they're too big. Again, size medium. They need to be a size small. I picked up some kind of like graphic tees. I feel like you can never have enough graphic tees. I absolutely love graphic tees. I have a lot of t-shirts that are very, very old. Some of them I don't even know where, how I like acquired them. I think t-shirts just somehow wind up in your closet. I don't even know how half mine got there. But they are really old, so I decided to pick up a couple that I liked. If you have been with my channel for a while, you know that I'm obsessed with The Office. So I picked up two Office-themed ones, and I'm also really obsessed with Friends. Friends was like my very first sitcom that like I dived into and was obsessed with, so I picked up a Friends one as well. The first one being this plain Dunder Mifflin Paper Company black. And these are actually from the men's section. These are a size small and they fit really nicely. Like they're the perfect t-shirt. They're not too long. They don't have a, a wide um, waist. So they fit really nicely. So I'll, I'll make sure my husband doesn't shrink those because they fit perfect. I also picked up a Shroot Farms t-shirt. Now this is very, very red, like candy apple red. It was supposed to come in like a beet red washed out color. Um, and I was really, really excited about it. Um, I'm not a huge fan of wearing bright red. Uh, I will on occasion wear it, but most of the time I like deeper tone reds or washed out reds. So hopefully throughout the time, this will fade a little bit. And it won't be so bright, but I do love this because I love the office. And the last t-shirt I picked up was the Central Perk Friends themed t-shirt. It's just this beautiful gray. I'm obsessed with like grays, blacks, earth tones, things like that. I really love those colors. If it's really flashy, I probably won't wear it. I'm, I'm kind of the type of person that doesn't want my clothes to stand out and make me stand out. I like to be kind of in the background. That's just how I am. So I pick up a lot of stuff like this. Um, I also picked up one for my husband. It was like a light washed out gray and it was the Dundee Awards Hottest in the Office t-shirt, and he loves it. So that one was a really good one. They're all in, I believe, the graphic tee clearance section. So I picked up a bunch of those. And he also got a bunch of Hanes t-shirts and a bunch of colors. He's already washed them and started wearing them, so I don't have them to show you guys. But I think I picked up like five or six shirts for him as well, just to go with his hoodies and things like that for when the winter comes. One of the cute things I picked up was this Sherpa hoodie. It is so nice, y'all. I tried it on and it fits perfect. I believe this is a size small. Yeah, size small. And it fits perfect. It's a little puffy because it's the Sherpa material. It's very soft. It is hand wash only. And when I have items like that, I tend to ruin them. So we'll see how long this one lasts, but I'm hoping to keep it for a while because I love this mauve pink color. I've been obsessed with it this season. And I bought a few things that are like this 
pink color or like a dusty rose color. But this is a really nice find. And again, I'll link it down below. One of the other cuter items that I purchased was this very thin um, sweater dress. It goes down to like mid thigh and it has these really cute side pockets. If anything has pockets in it, I'm gonna love it just more than any other shirt. So it has these really cute pockets in the front, a nice V-neck at the top, and it's very, uh, not form-fitting, but loose enough that you can wear it with leggings, jeans, whatever you want. It also has a slit down the side to give you a little extra breathing room around your waist. I just really loved this color. I loved this style. It's just, it's really comfortable and really soft too. When I first saw this sweater on the site, I was really excited about it because the picture showed this really beautiful, uh, like it was charcoal gray, white, and a very pale yellow, like watercolor slash, um, kind of like tie dye. It was very ombre, like the, the colors bled so beautifully. And it was very charcoal gray and very pale yellow. When I got this in, it is a very deep black, it does not fade. It had long fade lines. Like it was like real washed through in the picture. And if you can tell, this is not, it's very much like color blocking. Like it, it doesn't have that much of an ombre fade. And it also came extremely big. I believe I got this in a medium because I wanted it to be a little bigger. So I did go a size up from the size chart, but it fits more like a large than it does, or even maybe an extra large than it does a medium. If I had known it was gonna come that much bigger. I probably would have just bought the small and it probably would have fit as a medium or a large, but it's very big. I'll still wear it, I'm sure. I'm not really good at returning items. I don't ever do that. So I'll probably still wear this. I'm gonna see if my husband can shrink it a little because the band here is very large. It's not like it, it doesn't like suck in. So you can't just like wear it like a sweater sweater. So I'm a little disappointed in that. But when I wore it, it kind of looked like a potato sack. So definitely don't recommend this one. Um, it's, it's really just not flattering on the body. And the color blocking, I feel, is just, I don't know, poorly done compared to what the picture showed. I found these really cute thin sweaters, a lot like the sweater dress that I just showed you. Um, it's this olive color. It was supposed to come a little deeper olive, but I still like the color. But again, it has front pockets down at the bottom. I don't know if you can see it. Little front pockets down here. It fits loosely, but still tight enough to where it's form fitting. Um, very cozy and it's so soft y'all so soft so I can't wait to put this with some scarves and maybe a jean jacket with some boots I'm getting really excited for fall weather and really excited for fall fashion in general I have a massive scarf collection along with cardigans and sweaters and boots I love fall fashion more than anything else because I don't really like summer clothes because they are a little more revealing and you have to wear less clothes so when it comes to fashion if I can layer up I love it it's so much more comfortable for me and I just like the feel of being a little more covered. I also picked it up in this pretty pink color. It's the exact same thing, but it's pink. I love how soft those are, so I'm really excited about it. The last top that I bought was this Champions hoodie. I don't know if you guys know, but Champion was like huge when I was a kid in the 90s. Like everyone got champion and it was so cheap and affordable. Now the ticket price, I'm not gonna say it's expensive because I don't think that it is, but the ticket price for champion now is a lot higher than it was back in the day when I wore it as a kid. But when I saw this sweater in the clearance section, I believe it was like $24.99 for the sweater. It reminded me of the exact one I had when I was a kid and I was like, I have to have it. And I'm so glad I picked it up because it fits so well. And it's just, I believe it's like a boyfriend uh, style. It says power blend. It kind of fits like the boyfriend style sweaters, just the pullovers. There's, it's so soft, so it, I just love it. I'll probably pick up some more champion stuff through Walmart as they go through um, the clearance section. I do like to try and find things that are on clearance more than I do like to find them on the racks. I am the biggest person about uh, budget-friendly stuff, finding a good deal, getting things on clearance. I thrive for that. Like I like to find a good deal rather than be like, oh, that's cute, I want it. No, I love to find a good deal. I did pick up three pairs of leggings. If you guys have been around for a while, you know that I pretty much only wear black leggings. And I decided to try to branch out a little bit and get colors. So I picked up this cute red pair. I really didn't think I was gonna like it because I really do not like red. I don't like it. Like I'll decorate with it, but I don't like wearing it. 
Uh, I thought it hilarious when I was thinking about saying that to you guys. Like, I don't like red, but I'm covered in it. So I don't like to wear it, but I do like to decorate with it. But I'm getting kind of over the color red. I've been over it for a while. But when I picked these up, I really thought I was gonna dislike them, but they're actually my favorite pair. They have this cute band that goes all the way around the legs. They fit really nicely. The band is stretchy and they are not see-through. I did the bend over test in them. Perfect, you can't see nothing through them. Um, they are thin enough to where they're breathable. The band doesn't get too hot for me because I hate when I wear leggings and like that band that's like supposed to help you sculpt your body makes you really hot and sweaty. I can't stand that. And these don't, so I do like these a lot. I'll probably wear these with my champion sweater in an upcoming video because I really, really like these. Hopefully they have a good long last on them because I find that I can tear through some leggings pretty quickly because I wear them all the time. I also bought a blue pair. I don't have anything to wear with this, but I liked the color. Same uh, band that goes around the whole leg on these ones as well. And I believe they also came in black, which I did buy them in black. I don't know where they are, but I bought them in black too. Now I think about it, I do have the black pair of these as well. I must have left it in the box. Let me check. And I did. So here's the black pair. It has the same black band. You can barely see it on this one, but when you put it on, it does sparkle a little bit, like has a shine to it. It's not matte has a shine to it so you can see it when you put it on but I did buy the black pair of course because I need another black pair the two black pairs of leggings I have that are my favorite I actually have holes in them so I picked another black pair I bought they, they showed all three in this style and I bought all three colors now the other pair that I bought which is completely out of my comfort zone but I am in love with them is this beautiful gray pair it has more of a chevron style like very triangular band rather than a straight line and then all the way down it or I should say up it it ombres into sparkles and goes all the way up to the bum and the band if you can see it I'll show you the bottom again I am obsessed with these and I'm hoping that they will look good with the top that I plan to wear today hopefully it does I don't know it's a little bit out of my comfort zone I planned on wearing it with just a white t-shirt but they don't fit right so I'll probably, since it is Sunday, I will probably go ahead and throw on some Cowboys gear. My husband is a Cowboys fan, so I'll probably throw on some Cowboys gear with these and get to cleaning and cooking for you guys. But definitely recommend these leggings. They are, they seem to be good quality. I'll let you know if I find a problem with them later on, but I like them. Very affordable. They also in this style had white with the, the band, of course and it was rose gold and then the sparkles up was rose gold. And then they had a light pink pair with the same rose gold design going up it. Very cute. I just didn't purchase them because I'm more of a girl that likes the boyish colors rather than the pinks and things like that. I don't own a lot of pink stuff. I don't wear a lot of pink. I do like the color pink, um, but I just don't wear it very often. I'm more into like grays, blues, blacks, things like that and earth tones. So I just picked up these four colors and I'll probably venture out and get more leggings throughout you know, the winter as it goes on, because I don't want to wear these with like boots, because the bands are a little more active wear, leisure wear kind of thing. So I'll probably pick up like regular leggings here and there as the season goes on, and I'll show you guys what brands I get. I really want to look into Fabletics, because I hear that they do have great leggings. Um, if you have ordered from them, let me know what you think of them, because I'm really tempted to purchase some Fabletics, because they look really nice. They seem to really hold structure to your body and I like that a lot so let me know if you have them and I will see about getting some for myself all right I'm gonna go ahead and jump into getting ready and then we can go ahead and jump into the cleaning portion of this and then I will show you guys my side dish you stay for 
doing the dishes my phone cut out and said it ran out of storage for recording so you're going to miss me rinsing off the pans and cleaning the crock pot but other than that it got all the footage I had to stop uh, recording for a little while and go through and delete some old videos that I had recorded on my phone and restart so the only thing you're going to miss is the rinsing of the pots and the cleaning of the crock pot <laughs> Every night I'm going on the grid, texting back. I want you, hit you up. I'm on the other side. I miss you, miss you. Take you off. I came your way to strong. Cannot keep it low key. Got me drugged. Your pheromones hit the roof. Auto, your taste. It's really a bad reception out there. Where you heading? Why in gravity? Getting closer to me I've lost you But I need you And you're off my radar now I've lost you Telling you that I need you But you're off my radar now Found myself in between the lines Underneath your bed sheets It started fun, but now I'm into deep into this flow A zero sum game that I will lose There's no sipping past it Every time you walk away from me I want you, how could I want you more? Oh, when did I lose my perspective? Oh God, have I lost it? But my cravings for you so shameless Can't get enough I've lost you And you're off my radar now I've lost you Telling you that I need you But you're off my radar now I 
I'm like an outcast from pillar to post There's no denial, I'm chasing ghosts I'm like an outcast from pillar to post Hitting you up but I'm stuck on hold Is it really a bad reception out there? Where are you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me? Yeah, I lost you
So I thought I'd go ahead and show you guys one of my favorite notepads. It's from knockknockstuff.com. It says all out of and it has all your grocery items listed on it. it. Makes it really easy for the family. So when you run out of something in the fridge, freezer, or pantry, you can just check it off on the box. It makes grocery lists super fast and simple. And you know what you're always out of as long as someone remembers to mark the list. I'm going to be placing another order from knockknockstuff.com soon. And I'll show you guys those lists because I just saw they have some new ones. I like the to-do list ones and the dinner the dinner planning for the week ones. And then I also saw they have one called um, I Love You Today Because. And I think that is a really cute idea. And I think I'm going to pick that one up just to give a little reminder to my husband. When he wakes in the morning, the reason why I love him that day. So I'm going to pick those up and I'll show you, the, show you guys those when I get them in. It's not sponsored or anything. I just really like them and I thought I'd share that with you guys. Just call on me Every time that my mind slip, I just see my past life Having dreams in a dream, I wonder Why I carried on with the things that made you lose your mind There's no way I can undo what I've done Can we be strangers against our fresh like a morning? What's so bad about that? So why won't you follow? Why won't you follow me home? I know I can't make you mine Yes, I ran out of time There's no hope for me I fell down the bottom So I fell down way deep But if I can't have the real you Then let me make a 3D print Of 
I like to pull everything out of my pantry every so often just to give it a good wipe down, check for any cobwebs or dust or dog fur or anything that possibly could get in there, crumbs and such. So I'm just pulling everything out, wiping on the shelves, and just kind of reorganizing slightly because things kind of get a little out of hand in these bins sometimes. And when I go grocery shopping, I don't always have a specific place for items because this pantry is very small and I can't fit all the bins I used to have in my old pantry into this one. So I try to keep it organized as best I can, but every so often I have to go through and just kind of move things around, make it more functional and then also just kind of wipe it down and make sure there's no dust or crumbs or anything like that building up in there. They don't know what it feels like but I do So you faded out while I watched it down Obsessed with myself Wanna hit the reverse on what's broken Can we be strangers against our friends like a morning But what's so bad about that? So why won't you follow? Why won't you follow me home? I know I can't make you mine Yes, I ran out of town There's no hope for me I fell down the bottom So I fell down way deep But if I can't have the real you Then let me make a 3D print of you my target it's a time to move on but I cannot I shoot in the dark so I miss my target it's a time to move on you know so I why won't you follow why won't you follow me home I know I can't make you mind yes I ran out of time there's no hope for me I fell down the bottom so I fell down way deep But if I can't have the real you Then let me make a 3D print So the only thing I'm not going to be showing in this video is me mopping and sweeping my floors. I try not to vacuum when my daughter is sleeping and taking her naps just because I like to her to nap as long as she can because if she gets woken up she is extremely grumpy. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to cleaning my dining room and then I decided to go ahead and get into PJs and, and enjoy some quiet time while she napped and then I went ahead and started dinner. Front porch sipping on the rocks, citrus in our beverages, citrus in our beverages. Show only the good sides, always pretty smiles are covering our faces. You know it is all lies, you know it is all lies. On and on and on it goes, round and round the rodeo, breathing out air for a minute, taking my time to begin with. On and on and on it goes, swing it down. Why don't we all calm down? Why don't we 
you'll calm down On and on and on it goes Round and round the rodeo Breathing out air for a minute Taking my time to begin with it On and on and on it goes Swing it down in life, you know Breathing out air for a minute yeah. Hey, would you rather sit right here Make everything One of my favorite things to eat with spaghetti is spinach artichoke dip French bread. I'm going to add to a mixing bowl one fourth cup of sour cream, one fourth cup of mayonnaise, four ounces of cream cheese, half a cup of Parmesan cheese. I added two teaspoons of minced garlic. You can put as much garlic as you'd like. I went with two because I like it to be really garlicky. I also did half a cup of frozen spinach. I thawed it and I drained it. And then I took an eight ounce jar of artichoke hearts and just minced it real small and added that and then I put half a cup of mozzarella cheese to the side to put on top of the spread once I put it on the bread. I'm going to go ahead and also add just a little bit of crushed red pepper. This is completely optional. It does not need to be kneaded in there. I just like a little spice with my uh, spinach dip. So I went ahead and added that. I'm going to go ahead and mix it all together until it's completely combined and the cream cheese is fully mixed in and then I'm going to stick it in the fridge covered in aluminum foil. Um, until my spaghetti is done, almost done cooking, and then I'll put it on the bread. I went ahead and preheated my oven to 425 per the directions of the box and it says to bake for 8 minutes so that's what I did as well. When I typically use a fresh um, French bread loaf I will do it for 10 to 15 minutes and the two, last 2 minutes I still broil on high. I'm going to go ahead and spread this evenly and then top it with a little bit of mozzarella cheese and a little sprinkle of some crushed red pepper. Again any kind of spice like that is totally optional, it is not needed. Once I put it in the oven, it'll bake for eight minutes and then I'll add another two minutes on high for broil. I also had cut this recipe in half because I wasn't using a full French bread loaf. So if you do wanna use a full loaf of the French bread, do double the recipe because it will cover both sides of that loaf. With it just being these eight slices, I went ahead and decided to cut it in half and I'm glad I did because it perfectly fit on these eight slices. When they come out of the oven, they will be very bubbly and delicious. If you like your cheese to have a little more color to it, definitely broil it for however long you need. I typically just do the two minutes to where it's super melted and has a little bit of color to it. I hope you try this recipe. It is so good. If you're a spinach dip lover, this is definitely a toast for you. It goes well with all pasta dishes in my opinion, and I've never had a complaint when I make it. If you liked this video as well, please give it a big thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't yet, and remember to always hit that notification so you don't miss any future uploads. I apologize for the late upload of this video. We have had a little bit of a rough week with allergies, but we are all coming back to normal, so I'm able to edit and get this video out for you guys. Let me know if you like this video by dropping a comment down below, and I will catch you guys next week. Thanks so much for watching. <music>